All right, what's the best off the court moment? Give me, give me the most fun. I'm not gonna say the wildest, but but I must say, like, what's the what's the one moment that you always remember that maybe did not occur on the court? You know, well, I, I, you know, the safe answer is definitely, you know, when seeing all my, uh, all my coaches, everybody show up to the hospital. That's the number one off the floor moment for me at the University of Iowa. Um, that support for me during that time was, you know, there was nothing like it. Um, but I think, you know, we've had, um, you know, some pretty great celebrations after, after some great wins. Um, and I think, you know, last year, uh, you know, it, I think my sophomore year when we beat Michigan and they were, they were a top five team, you know, that off the floor, just, you know, that night, just, you know, our whole team just, you know, it, it was a lot of fun. We had worked hard to get, put ourselves in a position, you know, to be able to beat a team like that. And, and I think we just, you know, really enjoyed that win. Um, and, and, you know, that was a lot of fun. So I think, you know, when you, you look back at some of the games um, that we won over my career here and, and some big time home wins. Um, but also, I, I'd also say the Iowa State win on the road last year. We had never won there with Coach McCaffrey and we lost in my freshman year. And to be able to go in their building and be up 25, um, that was, you know, that was a crazy experience. And then, you know, obviously, you know, just going around Iowa City after that game and, you know, people, you know, obviously hadn't seen a team win there in, in a long time. And that was a lot of fun just being around all the fans in the, in the community. Because when you're in Iowa City, you know, there's no pro team. So, you know, we are the, the pro team in, in Iowa City. So, you know, it, it's awesome to see all the people that you meet, all the different people you meet um, and, and, and share their stories with you and how they're, you know, especially as I've grown as a player, you know, I've seen more of it. But it's, it's, it's awesome to know and, and, and see the people around Iowa City. Good answer, Luca. Jeff was looking like he was trying to get you suspended for the Gonzaga games. So <laughs> done. Yeah, speaking, we've even talked about the Gonzaga game. And and I mean, this is this could be the biggest game of the year. We thought, you know, Gonzaga Baylor, it never happened. We've had some big time games that haven't happened yet. Um, how worried are you? How, like as the days go by here, it gets closer and closer, but like every day. I don't know. We just wait for like the shoe to drop, which sucks. But like that, that un honestly, that's kind of what I'm thinking is like, let it get here so we can see this, this huge game that we haven't really gotten yet. You know, I'm excited. You know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't, I don't think I'm worried at all. You know, I think our team has worked so hard, um, you know, in the off season and everything to, to prepare for moments like these. Um, and we're, you know, we're, we're ready. We're excited. Uh, we're ready to get to work and continue to, get better every day. And I think that's another opportunity to prove that and, and, and get better. I think we're, we're going to be on a stage, you know, to show the world, you know, what we're about. And I think that is something that, you know, excites every single one of us. And, you know, for us, we, 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 you know, as competitors, we love to play against the best. So when you, you know, I, I don't think I've played against the number one team in the country since I've been here. You know, I think we've played against, you know, top five a lot in the big 10, but I don't think we've had, had a number one matchup. Um, definitely not when we were in the top five. So this, you know, this is exciting. This is why you play the game of basketball. This is why you work hard. Um, this is what you prepare for. So, you know, for us, you know, it, you got to have fun with it. And we're going to go in, be prepared as we can be. Um, we're going to have fun when we get on that court and, and, and do what we can do. When you were in high school, did you ever think that you could have a game against a team like Carolina where you go for 16 and 14 and people are like, damn, Luca didn't play very good tonight. Like, <laughs> did you think you could ever set the bar at that level? <laughs> you know, I honestly, no, I don't think so. You know, I, I knew, you know, I, I wanted to be a great college player, but I didn't know that, you know, um, you know, that would be my worst performance or that would be something that I looked at myself and was like, you know, I didn't play that well. Um, and, 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 you know, that game was, that game was fun for me. I think, you know, I learned a lot that game. You know, when, when you see a team, I haven't played a team, you know, obviously in the big time, it's everything's physical. Um, but when you talk about four big men that are all, you know, of great size and they're all really, really good players themselves. Um, it was just, you know, a fun matchup. And I've seen a lot of different defenses. And, you know, I don't think I've seen a team with the uh, depth in the front court to be able to do what they did. Um, but it was a lot of fun. You know, I think when I watch back on the film, you know, obviously there was some great defense, but I look at those shots I was missing as those were gimmies. You know, they were, they were easy shots that I should have made all of them. Um, and, and, and that's, you know, my mentality towards it. But, you know, as a kid, I, I, I was a guy who UNC was my dream school. You know, that was a, that was a school I wanted to offer me. That was, you know, that was a school I watched on, on TV the most. You know, Tyler Hansbrough, all those guys, are, you know, I love those teams. Um, so be able to 
have an opportunity to go against them and beat them is, is something that I'll definitely remember forever. So la last question we have for you is, is if, if you win this game, I mean, you're probably the number one team in the country. Like, have you mm -hmm. thought about that of Iowa, of you being the number one team in the country? Have, has that kind of, can that enter your head before this game or do you just focus on Gonzaga? You know, I, I think for us, you know, that's something we all kind of have the common knowledge that that could happen. But for us, I think we're just focused on winning the game and we're playing a great team and we have to get there first for that to happen. You know, and we have to we have to go out there and play our best. Um, and, you know, we're playing, you know, one of the best offenses in the country. So, you know, our defense is going to be put to a test that, you know, that they're not, you know, uh, not many other teams will be put to. Um, so that's, you know, exciting for us. And, and we know that, you know, if we go in and we play our game and we play defense the way we know we're capable of that, you know, we, we have the potential and the chance to, to pull out a W. Well, listen, we, we appreciate you joining us. 68% uh, from three. Uh, we expect you to, to continue that. We also expect you to blow away uh, Robbie's vertical of 19. He says he got it up to 20. Or twenty-one and a half, or something like that. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm that far from that. I, you know, <laughs> I think he, he might have me be. <laughs> I'm glad you're part of the fraternity of guys who can score the ball at a high level below the rim. It's, yeah, it's exactly. exactly. You guys can it's really point, relate. Point. The two of you are like, you know, brothers. You know, lost brothers. Okay, you both two <laughs> of my favorite people, two of my favorite players, um, and, and I like it because honestly, neither one of you can jump that much higher than me. Oh my God. Hey, <laughs> after the season, we're having a decathlon. We're going to kick the shit out of Jeff and everything. There we, go. Fun. there we go. <laughs> I'm older. You got to respect your elders, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen, Luca, we appreciate it, man. Always um, continued success. Uh, and we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll do it again later in, this, in the year.